Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is crashing on compiling shader screen. So here you can see optimizing game data. And if the game is crashing on this screen, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart Steam. So this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So simply go to Steam over here and then click on exit. And once Steam is closed, you can open Steam once again, and then you can check. If that does not work, you can run Steam as an administrator. So again, close Steam. Once you close Steam, then type in Steam in Windows search box. Make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator and then check. If that does not work, simply restart your computer. This has also worked for many players. So do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Over here, you can see the game exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file and then select properties. Go to this tab. First of all, without try to run without administrator. So instead of launching the game from Steam, you can simply make a double click over here, launch the game from here. If that does not work, then go to properties, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. If that does not work, again, go to properties, and this time put a check in the box which says run this program over here, and select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game, and then check. If that does not work, then select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimizations and then hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, then you can uncheck these boxes and then apply OK and follow the next step. Now the next step is to verify the game files. Do not ignore this. This has also worked for many players. So make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on Verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Next step is to, now if you're receiving anti-temper or something went wrong error, then when you receive the error, you see the retry option. So just spam click the retry option. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So when you see the retry option, just keep on hitting you just hit retry again and again. Just spam click it and it may work. Now the next step is to exit Riot Vanguard from the system tree. So at the bottom right on the taskbar here, you can see hidden show hidden icon option. Click on this up arrow. Now over here, if you see Riot Vanguard over here, Riot client running over here, in my case, I don't have it. For example, if you see Riot Vanguard over here, make a right click and then click on exit. You can close a Riot client and then launch the game. This has also worked for many players. Now the next step is to, if you're using Reset, then uninstall Reset. Now this has also worked. So if you're using Reset, then you can just uninstall Reset. So you can open Reset. I'm not using Reset with the game. I'm use, uh, For example, I'll show you a different game. So if you're using it with Monster Hunter, you can select Monster Hunter Wilds over here. But I, I'm showing you a different game. This is just an example. Next. Next. And then you can uninstall Reset and Effects. Next. Finish. And once that is done, you can launch the game once again and then check. Next step is to remove crash report.exe and crash report dll.dll from the game installation folder. Now, before you do so, create a backup of these two files and then you can delete it. So make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. Now over here, you can see crash report exe file and then the next is crash report dll.dll. Just below it here, you can see crash report dll.dll. So you can select both the files over here. Before you delete it, just copy it and you can just create a backup. You can paste it to the de desktop. Now, once you have a backup of these two files, now you can go back and then you can delete it. Just delete it and then you can launch the game. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. But if you face any kind of error message, if you face any problem, you can put 
those two files back to the game installation folder and then you can follow the next step. Uh, let me close the game first. Now the next step is to close Steam, go to Steam folder, create a backup of version.dll file and then delete it. Now for this, first of all, go to Steam, close Steam. Now once Steam is closed, go to the game uh, Steam installation folder, like go to this PC, wherever the Steam is installed, go to the drive and then program file 686 in C drive, in case of C drive and then open the Steam folder and over here, I just scroll down and uh, find this version.dll. Now, many users may not find this version.dll. If you don't find it, you can skip this step. Just skip this step. If you have this uh, file, you can just create a backup first. You can copy this and then paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup, then you can delete this version.dll and then you can launch the game and then check. If you face any problem, you can put the DLL file back. Now the next step is to clear download cache. You put this and like go to Steam and then click on Steam over here. Go to settings and then go to storage option. Over here you can see uh, not the storage. Go to the download option. Go to downloads and over here you can see uh, clear download cache. Now click on clear cache and then you can click on confirm. And once that is done, you can launch the game and then check. This is also work. Now try DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 in the launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX 11, and then you can launch the game and then check still not working. Then make a right click once again, and then this time type in dash DX 12 to launch the game and then check if that does not work. You can type in dash D3 D11. Now you can launch the game and then check still not working. You can remove this from the launch option, follow the next step. Now the next step is to turn off or close VPN. So if you're using VPN, you can close or turn off VPN and you can even uninstall VPN and then check. This has also worked for many players, so it might work for you. Next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, in that case, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security in case of Windows 11. In Windows 10, click on update and security and then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Then click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. So in my case, the game is in C drive. So this is the location and then Select the game exe file and then click on open. Once the game is added, now type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Change settings at the top. Click on allow another app. Click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder. Open the game folder. Select the exe file. Click on open. Now click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Now, once the game is added, so in my case, the game is already added. So once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. Now, this is important. This has worked for many players. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website and then install the latest driver. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next 
and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now AMD card users, first of all, uninstall the current AMD graphic card driver from your computer, then restart your computer and then go to AMD website and then select your graphic card and install the latest graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is for AMD users, install this AMD 25.2.1 optional update or AMD 25.1.1 optional update. So in Google search, you can just type in AMD 25.2.1 optional update and then you can search it and then you can go to uh, AMD website and here you can see new game support for Monster Hunter Wilds. Scroll down and over here you can see this optional update. Click on it and then once the download is complete, uh, you can just click on this uh, exe file and then install it after the installation, restart the computer and then launch the game. If that does not work, you can even try this uh, AMD 25.2. 1.1 optional update so again in google search you can search it and then you can go to md website and you can try this one you can download it install it restart your computer and then check but the latest one should work now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, scroll down, find the game in the list. Once you find the game, click on this game over here and then GPU preference, select as high performance and you will see your graphic card over here. And then launch the game and then check. Next step is to optimize the game in NVIDIA app. So if you're using NVIDIA app, just uh, type in NVIDIA app and then uh, you can go to graphics over here. If you see the game over here, monster. Uh, I don't see the game over here. Uh, watch. Now, if you see the game, in my case, I don't see it. Or you can just. Um, add a program and then maybe you can try to add the game over here. Steam folder, Steam apps. If it is not supported, I think it's not supported. That's why I don't see it. If you don't see the game over here, yeah. If you see the game over here, you will see optimize option. Like for example, let me show you. Uh, I selected this game. There is an optimize option. If you don't see optimize, if this is not supported, you can skip this step. I think it's not supported. It's not recognizing the game. Now try debug mode in, in NVIDIA control panel. So make a active on the desktop, then select show more option, then click on NVIDIA control panel. And once NVIDIA control panel is open, at the top, you will see the help option. Click on the help option and then select debug mode. And then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to try, which and this we have already done, skip this step. Now close all the overclocking application. Now this is important. So if you're running like any overclocking application like MSI Afterburner, or if you're running any, like if you're running Reva Tuner, or, or if you're running any kind of overclocking application, you can just uh, close it. So here, in my case, MSI Afterburner, you can make a right click and then close it. If you have Reva Tuner running, make a right click, close it, or you can close all the overclocking application and then check. Remove the undervolt if you have undervolted your computer and then uh, disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then check. If you have Discord running, you can go to Discord settings and turn off overlay in Discord. If you have NVIDIA app running, you can go to settings in NVIDIA app and then turn off the option which says NVIDIA overlay. Turn it off and then check. Now, if you have any other overlay application, close it. Also close any third party uh, software application running on your computer. So like if you have Razer software or any software, third party software, close it. Also unplug all the external devices. Like if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter, which you're not using, disconnect it. Disconnect 
extra controller connected to the computer. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnected. Disconnect multiple monitor. Not the extra controllers. If it's a wireless, only one controller will be connected, but we have a dongle connected to the computer, disconnected. Disconnect multiple monitors. So try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services running, close it and then check. Update Windows to the latest version. This is important. Do not ignore this step. Go to Windows Update or Update in Security and then click on Check for Updates. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart the computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. So in Windows 11, the current latest version is version 24H2 so make sure that you update your Windows 11 to version 24H2 and the latest update over here and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. 15, 1. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now, the next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% when you update the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game, but if you're able to launch the game, you can go to graphics option and then you can switch to window mode, turn off frame generation. Now this has worked for many players. So go to graphic option and you will see frame generation option, turn it off. And if you have like, you can even turn off upscaling, you can turn off DLSS or FSR, lower down video settings to medium and then launch the game and then check. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can just make a right click, manage, uninstall. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to like D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. 
So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.